Okay, so um, basically I was just saying, we're gonna go through a set list of exercises. It's gonna be 45 seconds um, each exercise, and then we'll go like two or three times through and we'll see kind of see kind of where we go. So we're gonna start out with high kicks. I'm just gonna get the stopwatch going. And let's see. Okay. Looks like it's not working. Oh, there we go. All right, so we're gonna start out with just some high knees, get that body moving. Okay, cool. So it's just gonna be like a full body workout. We got a little bit of um, lower body, a little bit of upper body, a little bit of core. Um, the things I'm gonna do today, they're gonna to be pretty like low impact. Um, and I'll definitely give you modifications, uh, progressions, like obviously with the high knees, if you really wanted to go crazy, you could do like high impact high knees, but I'm just gonna do everything kind of low impact um, and we'll see what happens. All right, so from here, we're gonna stand about hip width apart. You're gonna bring your knee up and out, back down, up, out, back down. This is just gonna get the hip flexor warmed up. It's a great balance exercise. If you're unstable, you can always like, if you have a chair, you can always like hold on to a chair. Make it a little bit more straightforward. Happy Friday. I heard Patty has like usually a huge, huge following, like 50 people in her class, that's crazy. Very cool. All right, a couple more of these. Patty says she's bad at counting reps. I am too. Uh, my head will kind of go all over the place. So, um, okay, so we're going to move on. We're going to do some butt kickers. So you're just going to bring that heel all the way back to your glute. Again, I'm doing like the low impact version of it. Like if you want to go crazy, you can jump on into it. Um, but this should be activating your hamstrings, your glutes, all that good stuff. So just try to bring that heel all the way back to your booty. This is good. Hopefully I'm not too crooked. Keep going. Let's see. Under. Fine. All right, a couple more of these. Okay, now we're gonna go into hip circles. So we're just gonna move the hips around. Go about 20 seconds one way, 20 seconds the other way. Feels good. All right, switch sides. Go around the other way. Nice. This feels good. I should probably sign on and do some of Patty's classes. Feels good. All right, so from here, we're just gonna go air squats. So you can either, um, you know, squat to uh, chair height, like on your own, or if you need like a little bit of a, some assistance, you can always bring like a chair out and just kind of sit down, lightly tap that booty um, on the chair and then, and then back up. And then also if like the chair, keep going, if the chair is a little bit, um, uh, too low, you can always add like a pillow or something. This is gonna, okay, there we go. This is gonna drive me bonkers. Keep going. Oh well. I think what I'm gonna do here, bear with me. I'm just gonna put it up here. 
much straighter. My OCD goes a little nutty. All right, there we go. So again, feet should be about hip width apart. Just kind of lightly tap down on that chair. Get that body moving. If you want to add some weights, you can add some weights. Make it a little bit harder. But sit back in your heels. Lightly tap that butt down. And then on your way up, squeeze that butt up. Hips come into full extension. Good. Okay, from here, we're going to do some shoulder openers. So you can just kind of put your chair aside if you want. We're going to go into eyes, Y's, and T's. So this is really good for like your rotator, cuff muscles, your shoulders. A lot of times we sit down all day, we're at the TV, we're hunched over. We're not working any of those back muscles. So just gonna open everything up. Feels good. It was so hot yesterday, oh my goodness. I was telling my class, I, so I did the Zoom classes um, for like the a little more high impact, um, what are they called? They're like total body conditioning or whatever. Um, I was in Arizona a couple weeks ago and it was like 114 degrees, it was so hot. And so when I came back here, it was like, you know, 85, 90 felt like it was almost cold. <laughs> Kind of crazy. Good, a couple more. All right, so from here, we're gonna go into sumo squats. So I'm sure Patty probably has walked you guys through these. So your feet are gonna be a little bit more than hip width apart. So, whoop, actually, let me go this way. So you're about, Feet are more than hip width apart. Your feet are externally rotated, so kind of out like a sumo wrestler. And then you're just gonna squat down. So this is working a little bit more of um, your inner thighs, your outer glutes. And again, just kind of go down to about chair height. Um, if you want, you could bring the chair back. And as a modification, you just kind of squat to that chair height. Honestly, I feel like the chair can be super helpful because I think a lot of people think of a squat and they get nervous. They don't know how low to go. And the everyone's used to kind of sitting in a chair. So for whatever reason, when, when people know that there's a chair there, they're like, oh, okay. And it's funny, their form actually looks a lot better. So, yeah. So... The other thing uh, you want to keep in mind is you want to really peel your knees out. When you peel your knees out, you're going to feel your glutes automatically really activate. So, so try to peel those knees out and keep them in line with your second and third toe. Really good job. All right. So from there, we are going to go to squat jacks. So you can kind of put your chair away. So I'm gonna go through the low impact version. So high impact version would be from here to here and out. A lot of people have knee issues, all sorts of stuff. So we're gonna go low impact. So we're gonna go from a narrow stance here to an outer stance, back to a narrow stance, Back to an outer stance. So you can kind of span the, um, the width of your yoga mat. You can go inside all the way to outside. Really good job. I'm sweating. This is good. I didn't know kind of what to expect. Patty gave me a, like a list of exercises that she kind of puts you guys through. I was looking it over and I was like, okay, this won't be too bad, but I'm working up a sweat. <laughs> really good job. This, you should feel it in your glutes, your quads, 
The other thing you want to kind of keep in mind when you're doing these is don't hunch over. You want to keep your back really nice and um, straight and flat. So don't like hunch. You want to sit back in your hips and then kind of go from there. A couple more of these. All right, good job. So from there, we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go squat to a leg raise lift. So let me just move this a little bit. Again, you can always use your chair. So you're gonna squat, leg lift, squat, leg lift. We're gonna go 30 seconds each side. Let me just show you. Oop. Let me show you what it would look like on the chair. So you'd squat down, leg lift. Squat down, leg lift. Got it? Let me get my timer going. All right, we're gonna go in three, two, one, here we go. So squat, leg lift. 30 seconds each side. So this, you're gonna feel it in your glute, and then you're also gonna feel it in your outer glute, in your abductors. So abductors are your outer thighs, adductors, inner thighs. So this one you're gonna feel outer, outer thighs and glutes. And a little bit of hamstrings. Okay, switch sides. So now you're gonna go, so I have a couch right here. So switch sides. I'm gonna go this way. Hopefully you can see. Actually, I can try to go this way. I usually work out outside, but it's been so hot. I'm like, no way. Really good job. All right, time. Get a quick sip of water. We're going to move on to. We're going to go into a lunge punch. So. I'll show you lots of modifications for this one. So, you're here. Forward lunge, punch, back. Forward lunge, punch, back. Um, modifications, you could go into a static lunge. You could just go down, up, punch, down, up, punch, or you can make it a little more dynamic. Lunge forward, punch, push back. If you want to do the dynamic lunge, you need a little more stability. You can always like hold on to something, kind of make it a little more stable. So let's go. Alternating. Here we go. Lunge forward, punch, back. Lunge forward, punch, back. So you really want to make sure when you're lunging forward that you're pushing back off that front foot. Otherwise, you'll get stuck and you'll be like, I don't know where to go. <laughs> so just lunge, punch. I'm sweating. This is good. This is really good. So hopefully this is all kind of making somewhat sense. If you have any questions, I think there's like a chat button on the Zoom. You can always write me a like, hey, I don't understand X, Y, or Z. Good job. You got it. All right, time. So from here, we are going to grab, sorry, I forgot to mention, we're gonna use bands and dumbbells today. So from here, we're gonna grab a dumbbell. And it shouldn't be too heavy, um, but it's gonna be like a wood chop. So you'll grab one dumbbell, and from here, we're gonna go into a squat position from our outside leg. We're gonna chop up. So down, chop up. We'll do 30 seconds each side. Ready? Here we go. So chop down, up, chop down, up. This is pretty funny. I'm like sweating. This is good. Sometimes, sometimes simple is good. It's been kind of 
of funky weather too. All right, so now we did 30 seconds on one side. Now we're gonna go the other way. So um, lunge down to the other way, rotate the other way. It's kind of like a, um, it's like a reverse wood chop. Whew. I'm sweating. It's good. All right, so from there, we're gonna grab one other dumbbell, and we're gonna go dumbbell squat thrusters. So you'll have two dumbbells, these are like five pounds. We're gonna squat down, press, alternating press. So again, um, if you need that chair, grab the chair, you can squat to chair height, or you can just kind of do an air squat, but we're going. Whew. This is crazy. It's not hot in my house either. It's like 66 degrees, so it's a good workout. This is good. So you're just alternating that dumbbell press. Whew. Doing great. Dumbbells might start to feel a little heavy. If they feel heavy, you can always just kind of hold them here, you know? That's fine. Ten more seconds. Woo-wee! Oh, man. All right, good job. Enough of that. Uh, we're going to move on. We're going to go into a bicep curl to a shoulder press. Look, uh, I'm like sweating. Like, this is good. I'm, I'm going to grab a quick sip of water. And then we'll get back to it. So, bicep curl, shoulder press. We're on. We're going. This is a great upper body exercise. So, Curl, palms facing, um, oh gosh, I'm bad with, palms facing, not you, palms facing forward, that's what I'm trying to say, Whew. need another cup of coffee, so just spice up, curl, press, down, palms facing up, then out, and then press. Yeah, palms facing forward, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> kind of weird weather out, it seems a little cloudy and humid today. Also, when you're pressing over your head, make sure that back stays straight. So you don't want to like arch your back, you want to make sure it stays nice and straight, not hunch, you're not sway back. And time, we're done with that. Now we're gonna go reverse grip curl. So all that means is that the palms are gonna be facing um, like down, okay? And then you're just gonna curl up. So palms are, palms should be like facing your thighs. And then you're just gonna curl up. Or if you want, you can do like a hammer curl. So that would be, palms facing the inside. Either way, we're just working biceps. Bi means two, right? So biceps brachialis in your arms, there's two bicep muscles. So um, one works this, the other part works this. So it's just supinated versus pronated. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyways, we're just working a different part of your bicep muscle. Good job. Also, keep those elbows pinned to your side. Don't let them flare out or in. You're just keeping them pinned and you're curling up. 10 more seconds. Good job. I like working out indoors. I don't know if I'm gonna go back outside. This is nice, nice and cool. All right, time. So, 
I think you guys are pretty familiar I, um, with the band stuff. You can also um, do this next exercise with dumbbells. Um, I can show you both variations, but we're gonna go into a resistance band deadlift. So you'll grab, um, you'll grab your resistance band by the handle. And then you're just gonna step on the handle. Feet are about hip width apart. And then from there, actually, about here. These bands might not be great for this. Um, so from here, you're gonna bend down. I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna do it with dumbbells. I haven't really done it. You can do resistance bands if you want, but I feel a little more comfortable going dumbbells. So um, you're just gonna grab the dumbbells, hinge at the hips, and then come up. So slight bend in the knees, hinge at the hips, back up. Keep those dumbbells super close to your legs, like touching your legs, all the way down, up. So this is different from a squat. You're hinging at your hips versus your knees. Nice job. Keep going. Doing great. Couple more. You got it. Just gonna let's see here. Five more seconds. All right, done with that. So, uh, next exercise, we're gonna go. Hopefully, you guys feel comfortable with this one. Um, it's on. It's on our exercise list. Um, so it's an inchworm. So basically, you're gonna hinge at your hips, walk yourself down. If you can't touch your toes, you can always bend down. Walk yourself down, and then walk yourself back up. Modification. Um, Let me think about that. Modification, I would say maybe just reach down and up, stay up. Don't you don't need to go all the way down. So um, so you can do like a good morning where you're coming down and up and just touching your toes. Otherwise, we'll just do that inchworm, walk yourself all the way down, and then walk yourself all the way back up. Great stretch. Woo, that feels good. Ugh. We'll do a couple more of these. Nice job. So, moving on, we're going to kind of convert our way down to the floor. So, this one is actually one of my favorites. So, uh, it's the bird dog one. So, you're um, in a quadruped position, and then from that position, you're going to go opposite limb extension. So, when you, when you do your opposite limb extension, you want to really generate the movement for your leg from your glute. And then with your arm from your shoulder. And then also keep that back super flat. So not arch, not, um, let's see. It's like the cat cow thing. So you just wanna keep it neutral. Keep your spine neutral. Ready? Here we go. We're just gonna alternate sides. This is a great exercise too for balance. Really good. When I was a kid, I used to do, um, vaulting so it's like kind of like gymnastics on horses and we used to do this movement they called it the flag but it's a great I mean it's a great movement 
Um, knee, knees should be about hip width apart, and then hands should be about shoulder width apart. So just something to keep in mind. Great core exercise. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna go cross body mountain climbers. So I like to slow this one down and we're gonna go, I call it opposite knee to elbow. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of variations. Um, you don't have to do it on a plank, you can do it on an incline. But basically, you're gonna be planked on the ground and then that opposite knee is gonna go into that elbow. So it's basically that knee is coming across your body to the opposite side to touch that elbow. Now, if that's too hard, what's really cool is you can use, um, let me just rotate this around a little bit. So what you can do is you can do it like on a, um, like a table, okay, like on an incline, and then just go opposite knee to elbow. Or you could even go a little lower. Sorry, you're getting a view. Um, so this is a little bit lower, opposite knee to elbow, or you can do it on the floor. So, okay, here we go. It's a really good one for your obliques. You can even use a chair actually to do it as well. Like this. And then you're planked out, and then opposite knee to elbow. I think I'm gonna do it on the chair. Really good job, hang in there. Really feel that oblique bringing that knee that opposite side. 15 more seconds. If you're tired, always feel free to take a break and then just get right back to it. Three, two, time. Good job, you guys. All right, we're moving on. We're on the ground. We're going to stay on the ground. Um, grab your dumbbells. We're going to go renegade rows. So the nice thing about this is there's a lot of modifications. So you can either stay in like a quadruped position and row. You could go into a modified plank, like a push up on your knees type thing, and go into that row. Or the hardest one is gonna be fully planked up and then rowing. So whatever, whatever you're comfortable with, or you can hold the plank for a minute, whatever you want. But we're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. So you could always start out, you know, planked in the hardest uh, variation of that. And then as you get tired, kind of downgrade. So we're 20 seconds in, I'm getting a little tired, I'm gonna to drop to my knees. We're 30 seconds in. Forty seconds in, we got 20 to go. I'm pretty tired, I'm gonna go into that quadruped position. Just finish out those rows. Good job. And time. Okay, we're going into abs. So, gotta get those quarantine abs looking good. Um, we're gonna go on our back and we're gonna do some bicycles. So we're gonna do these for 45 seconds. So you're gonna go on your back. And then hands right here. You're going to go opposite, um, opposite elbow to knee. You're going to get those shoulder blades off the ground. We're going. We're 
We're going. Doing great. Woo, that hurts. Keep going. Five more seconds. Woo, all right, really good job. So, from there, we're going to go into just a standard crunch. So, you're going to go all the way back, and then from there, so feet are just going to be on the floor. You're going to be right here, and then you're going to come all the way up. Just a standard crunch. Ooh-wee! It's hard. If you want to, like people that have back problems, what will have them do is just put their um, legs out into a butterfly position and then come up and touch their, you can see, touch their toes. So whatever you want, this just takes a little stress off your lower back. You can give it a whirl if you want. Really good job. Woo. I might make my uh, rock class tonight. I might make them do this workout. This is good. I'm sweating. And time. Okay. I think all of you by now should know, hopefully, Patty's done um, dead bugs with you. So dead bugs, you're going to be on your back still, tabletop position. Let's see, I want you to be able to see me. Um, and then you're going to go opposite limb extension. So if you're here, you're going to bring that uh, hand down. Don't go the other way, sorry. Just wanting to see kind of the whole body here. Okay, so you're here, and then you're just going to extend opposite arm and leg at the same time while keeping that back super flat. Ready? Let's go. Ten on each side. Ooh, that hurts. Doing great. Engage that pelvic tilt. Breathe. Woo. Whew. Doing great. Almost there. And time. Good job. Okay. Now we're going to go reverse crunch. So uh, we're still going to be on our back. This is going to be the starting position right here. Then, so your legs are going to be in a tabletop position. So let me go this way. Sorry. Just want to make sure you see. So you're here. From this position, you're going to come up and touch. Ooh, that hurts. Your elbows are going to try to touch your knees. So it's like a reverse crunch. If that's too hard, what I would recommend, like that's hard for me, and I feel like I'm 30 and fit. So if that's hard for you, what I would recommend doing is just dropping your feet down and then bringing your legs up. Because that's what I'm going to do. My abs are like shot. So we're going to do 10 of those. Here we go. Ready? Let's go. Down and up. Down and up. If you want to add the crunch, be my guest. Woo! But my abs are like, no way. Woo! 
Strong core, super important though. Woo, I'm sweating. It's good. I think I lost count. We'll do four more. Sorry. All right, done. Enough of that. We're going to go into um, enough of the abs. We're going to go into glute bridges. So we're going to go on our backs. Hips are going to go up and down. So let's um, let's get it. So you're just going to be here on your back, and then hips are going to go all the way up. You can't see me. Hips are going to go all the way up, and then back down. Ready? Here we go. Up and then back down. Up, back down. Really make sure you're, you're um, generating your hips upwards from your glutes and not your back. That's important. So all the way up and then back down. Nice job. You got it. Really feel it in your glutes. If you want to make it harder, you can go into like a one-legged glute bridge. I'm going to stick to the two-leg again. Nice. All right, good job. Enough of those. Now we're going to transition into dumbbell chest press, but we're going to be on our back still. So grab those two dumbbells, hopefully they're kind of near your yoga mat. And then, actually what I'm going to have you do is going to be a little more advanced. You're going to hold a static glute bridge, and then from there you're going to press. So, so hips are off the ground, and then we're just going to press those dumbbells. So hopefully, so hips are going to go up. And then we're going to press. You don't need to do that. You can keep your um, back on the ground, your glutes on the ground, but you want a good progression. Keep those hips up while you're doing the chest press. Really good job. Your hands should kind of be making like a U, like a horseshoe. You got it. I think I actually might do this workout for my rock class tonight. I really like it. This is good. All right, couple more. Good. All right. From here, we're going to go into tricep extension. So we're going to still be on our back, and then we're just going to press the dumbbells up from a tricep extension. So keep those dumbbells. You're going to be here, and then just hinge up, hinge up. You can always lift your glutes up again if you want a little more. But just hinge and then press. Keep that back flat on the ground. Really engage your core. Nice job. This burns. It's good. Nice job. Keep it going. Almost there. And time. Really good job. Okay, so we got about 10 minutes of class left. We're just going to cycle back through.
through some of those exercises and then we will call it a day. So we're gonna go back from down on the floor, we're gonna get back up on our feet, and we're gonna go back to the high knees. Ready? Here we go, so you're just here, here, up, really good job. So just bring those hips up. Really good job. Feet are hip width apart. Really good work today. This was a great workout. I really, I really like all these exercises. Doing great. Five more seconds. Three, two. One, okay, we're gonna go back to butt kickers, so we're gonna feel it in our glutes again. So you're just gonna heel to booty. Good job. Keep it going, keep it going. This is a great class though, you definitely, definitely feel it. Just gonna go kind of through some of the strength ones and a little bit of mobility, and then you'll be all done. Hopefully, hopefully I lived up to Patty's name. All right, from here we're gonna go back to hip circles. Bring those hips around. Really good job. I think the crazy part is a lot of these exercises, I mean, you sweat quite a bit. You know, they seem like, oh, this is gonna be easy or whatever. It's not, it's, it's hard, it's good. Nice job. All right, from here, we're gonna go in to air squats, back at it, right here. Air squats. Grab that chair if you need to. You're doing great. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna go into those eyes, Y's, and T's last time through. Rotator cuff muscles, no one ever works them. They should be worked. Probably it's one of the most important muscle groups to work. Your shoulder joint is the most mobile joint in your body. So the more mobility you have, the more susceptible it is to injury because it's really unstable. So you really want to make sure those, those muscles are kind of holding that shoulder girdle in place. So you really want to make sure you're working those muscles. I strained a rotator cuff muscle, and let me tell you, it translates to like everything. Things you wouldn't think would hurt start to hurt because you don't realize how much you use those shoulder muscles. So we gotta take care of them. Really good job. All right, last time through, we're going into that sumo squat. So feet are about uh, more than hip width apart, externally rotate those feet, and then you're just gonna come down and up, almost like a plie. Good job. Yep, so this one again, you're gonna feel it in that inner thigh, outer glute. Really good job. Woo. I don't think I need to work out today. I think this is gonna be my workout. I like it. Nice, couple more of these. And time. All right, we're gonna go into those modified 
squat jacks. So you're going to start on the in the narrow stance, and then you're going to come out, back in, back out. But you're always holding that quarter squat position. It will start to burn. Really good job. It's like a wall sit, but worse. It's hard. Couple more minutes of class left. Hang with me. We're almost there. Doing great. All right, from here, we're going to go squat, leg lift. Squat, leg lift. Let's get it. Let's get it. Woo. All right, switch sides. And we're going to save the last minute of class for a plank. We're going to hold the plank for a minute. Good job. Okay, from here. We're gonna go curl to overhead press. Grab those dumbbells. Here we go. Curl, press. Good job. Doing great. Nice, nice, nice. I'm on six, we're gonna go for 10. All right, reverse grip curls, we're going for 10. Ready, go. Pinned into your side. Forearms, uh, palms should be facing down on this one. We got almost like 90 seconds of class left. Doing good. Nice job. All right, final minute of class. Let's hold that plank. Let me get the timer going. All right, ready? Here we go. You can hold like a modified plank two on an incline, whatever you want. So last minute of class, let's go hold that plank. You can do it on your hands, on your elbows, whatever you want. Let's work that core. Breathe. And again, if you don't feel like getting all the way down to the ground, you can hold the plank on like an incline surface. You can even do it, you can even do it on a chair. Yeah, you gotta get creative. Good job. We got 20 more seconds, hang in there. Doing great. Ten more seconds. Keep that body nice and straight. Three, two, and you are all done.